Hi, this is Dr. Grave from the CSUN Geography Department with another in a series of YouTube tutorials designed to help students use the tools of Microsoft Word to make more efficient the writing process. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use some of the basic features of the bibliography tool. Managing a bibliography in a large paper can be frustrating, but it's important to get things right. So make an effort to be very organized from the beginning. Word can really help you with that. What you see on the screen here is a thesis template that I have desi designed for my students. I'm going to scroll down here to a random spot in uh, chapter one and insert a bibliographic reference. Notice that I have activated the References tab from the top of the software. My software is Word 2013, but from what I can tell in later versions, this still looks very similar. Because I'm a geographer, we tend to prefer Chicago style, which is really quite close to Turabian style, but occasionally um, use Harvard style. You may use APA or the MLA versions of these references uh, yourself, you should check with your advisor or your instructor to know which of the styles they prefer. So we're going to stick with Chicago here and um, let's pretend that this is a, um, a quote that I have used rather than this nonsense Laura Laura Mipson. And so right here where this uh, cursor is positioned is where I should enter a citation. Now if it's something that I've used before I would click um, here on insert citation and use one of the articles that I have already cited. So these are three articles here that already appear in this document. Perhaps uh, I want to add a new source. I would click there. So the type of sources available to you to enter include a book, a journal article, something from conferences, reports, websites, increasingly more common um, electronic data sources, there's a number of options here. I have a tendency to want to expand um, the bibliographic fields, so there's more options here. So now I have to enter a new source. And in order to show you how to do this, I have um, gone to the library and found an article by my friend Mike Urban. And... Um, I'm just going to click here. Here's his article, and this is one that I want to insert. And I click Citation, and it's showing me how it could look in Chicago style. So I'm going to grab this, and so you can see them both at the same time. And I can then begin to enter the data for this, um, this particular author and this particular journal article. So some of this I can just copy rather than trying to type in. There's the title, um, Journal of Geoscience. Some of the other information. Okay, I've finished entering the data from the citation from the library, so I'll close this out. And then I can just click OK here. And here's um, Mr. Urban's um, citation. If this was a quote, and I show this as a quote, we may want to add a page number because quotes and specific things should be referenced at a specific point rather than just generally um, the entire uh, text. So I'm clicking on the citation. I right-clicked and I want to edit the citation 
and I want to um, suggest that this was on page 293, for example, and uh, I can click OK. Now, if I mentioned uh, Urban's name in an earlier part of the citation, I may want to press the author's name so that it just has the year and the page number. That's uh, typical, so you don't uh, just repeat the name. But in this case, uh, I didn't mention uh, Mike Urban until uh, the citation, so this should be OK. I click OK, and now it has included. You can do this um, uh, once again for each of the uh, citations, and then we, you can click Manage Sources, and notice that the urban citation is now in the current list. I'm going to click Close, and I'm going to head down here to another spot and enter a citation that was already in my list. So I'm going to uh, click on this one by Cheris uh, Kubrin and others and click and it enters and it's just there. So I'm going to go down to the end of the page and I'm um, going to right click on the bibliography which I've already entered and I'm going to click update field which then adds the new um, reference um, for Michael Urban. This is generally ready to go. The only problem with this um, format, as you see, it is double spaced. Um, you very well may want to make this single space um, at the very last instance before you turn it in. You can right click and um, update this regularly as you add um, new bits and pieces. You can change the paragraph spacing to single, facing single. Okay, and so now it's it's more or less ready to go. You can also um, change this to static text. It's dynamic right now, but you can um, change this so that it uh, becomes a um, static text and you may want to do that at the very last moment. Let's talk one moment uh, on how to insert one of these. I'm going to come down a couple of spaces and click on this tool bibliography and put in a works cited page here. So this is again the same thing. Now you're going to have to change this if you use this template because uh, it's inserted it as a, uh, a chapter heading when in fact we want to make this a different heading like uh, heading 5 and then this is fine. Works cited is um, what you may want to use, or uh, in Chicago style, it's called references. Check with a leading journal in your field or your instructor uh, to learn how to do that. Hopefully, this uh, will have helped you. Of course, uh, if you have access to me, you are more than welcome to uh, come and see me, but this should get you started.